Hello my soccer universe, it is time to review all the jerseys for the German Bundesliga season 22-23 and for me this is uh, special in so far as I have 15 out of the 18 uh, Bundesliga teams in my collection which is the most for any league this season so I'm very very happy and even the uh, missing three are well within reach but there's a World Cup coming up that takes a little bit uh, of a center stage at this moment but I may complete the uh, 18 uh, dur during the season but let's see how it will go in any case um, I selected all the pictures that you will see in this video uh, online I made sc screenshots my main source was of course footy headlines but uh, for some reason they don't have the Puma team so I got the, uh, the pictures from there and if I couldn't find a picture with just the jersey, but it uh, was on the mannequin, I went usually to the club store webpage or whatever, got the picture from there, and there's only one jersey so far that, and it will be the very last one in the fourth part, <laughs> that I have not yet um, uh, found a nice picture. So by the time uh, I edit it, it might actually uh, be that it's all nice. So uh, that's how I got the pictures. Um, how did I then uh, do the teams within the videos? Now, first off, we have here 18 teams, which means we have two videos. The first two where we have five teams each, and then we have two videos where we have only four teams each, which actually is quite nice in a way. Um, and then I take last season standings and I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and and it's on. And you know, for video one, I take all the teams with a one, video two, all the teams with uh, num number two, and so on. And so, in this video, we have Dortmund, we have Köln, we have Gladbach, we have Stuttgart and we have Werder Bremen, which actually means that I have a jersey from each of these teams and in case of Stuttgart I have even an away jersey in there, also doubles for Köln and Dortmund, other way around. I decided to wear Köln, it is probably my favorite Bundesliga jersey that I own. And yeah, we'll start in alphabetical order, and that also means this time around, yeah, Borussia, Dortmund, Dortmund alone, it will always be uh, one of the two Borussias that go first in this video. Although uh, one could make its Erster FC Köln, so first FC Cologne, but I just call them Köln, so that's why they fall down in the alphabet a little bit. Weird? Probably. In any case, Dortmund's home jersey um, puts a new, you know, we have not seen very often a striped Dortmund jersey. However, I have to say, uh, given the sponsor with the square um, in black and white, although you know that the sponsor is actually blue and white, it's just because on a Dortmund shirt you cannot have a blue sponsor, that's why they go for black and white. So sponsors can actually change the color if they want to. It's a, um, 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 you know, telecommunications company. So I actually like the way they go around the sponsor. Um, there are two things about this one. I don't mind a striped Dortmund jersey. I have seen this a few times. I always uh, did enjoy it. However, uh, the striping doesn't go on the back. And I don't know why the outside stripes also had to be interrupted. Maybe it makes more sense this way. Uh, I don't know if it, if it would be... Um, if the outside stripe would go through that... Um, it will just look look like a box around the one and one logo on the other side aesthetically i think if you go full stripe here it might look better because now it seems like you leave the space for the sponsor but the sponsor doesn't need that space so um yeah that's a little bit where i am where, where this jersey falls a little bit flat for me other than that is all what i have it's yellow it has a, a black collar it has uh, black sleeve cuffs um it looks dortmund uh, in a way, so <laughs> in every way it looks dark, but <laughs> so I cannot fault it for that. I also like a particular the placement of the crest, which is like halfway between the two stripes, which I think is always a really, really nice uh, placement. Yeah, except for the stripe, striping that is a little bit weird for me. I actually like this jersey, and we're gonna start with a seven here. The away jersey, um, yeah, I'm not so big of a fan of that, that one. I uh, Yes, half and half look. I think if you go all uh, black with just the yellow accents, this would look better. Uh, also, again, here's the sponsor in pure white. While it makes some sense, I think it would even make more sense in yellow. 
that's uh, just just before but overall i don't know what this pattern is there on the outside i think uh either go overall pattern or overall black i would actually prefer overall black uh if it was for me uh this half half look just doesn't quite do it for me although always this black churches paired with yellow pants is always a, a look that i do enjoy uh when dortmund is playing in but again um falls a little bit in the meh category so i'm gonna give this uh five dortmund don't have a third jersey for this season at least uh not released as of the i made this video so we go straight over to gladbach another puma team uh and i think those two are the only two puma teams given that puma is a german company similar to adidas it's a little bit disappointing uh that fact in any case gladbach um get a really nice looking overall home jersey i I'm totally sold on the center stripe in the two colors, uh, black and green. And while green is uh, not in the crest, it has been among the club's colors for a long time. So really enjoy that. Uh, the crest maybe is a little bit, uh, it looks a little bit off to me. I think the white is a bit too prominent. But we, the elephant in the room is, of course, A, the band in the center is broken and B, the sponsor. Again, like we had with Hertha and the orange, we have here the flat text in orange make the x in green at least and the sponsor fits in quite nicely this way it's kind of intrusive also again yes i know there's a two-line sponsor so maybe uh the box makes some sense but i think uh this takes a really nice looking shirt just a notch down and it's not as well incorporated as it was in the dortmund jersey yeah, uh, the Dortmund, there is something really smart about it that uh, is not happening here. For that reason, yes, I like the design. I'm gonna give it the same grade as the Dortmund jersey with uh, seven because I really like the thinking behind it, but uh, it could be so much better. Uh, if this is done well, we could be looking at a nine at least here. Uh, the away jersey, I'm actually liking this one see this is a black jersey there is some patterning in in in, in there a little bit of uh, almost camouflage but uh that makes it interesting to look at also note the puma logos in green the sponsor in white it kind of all makes sense it's um a really pleasing and a make and you know sensible away jersey one that i actually i do like uh this uh, this one however it is not uh, I cannot really elevate it above the home 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 jersey in a way. So, but I'm going seven here, and then the third jersey. I gotta say, this is the best of the bunch. I'm totally sold on the green on green stripes. Um, you could have made them potentially black, uh, but I actually like it this way quite some. This is a, a very smart uh, third jersey, and this is the green that I've been missing in Gladbach. I think for the past two seasons. I'm really sold on this uh, on, on on this one. I really like it. Also, sponsor in only one color, and suddenly it doesn't look too bad. Even if it's two line sponsor, doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna give this a nine star. It's the highest rated one so far. Then we're going to the team that I am wearing, which uh, is also among my absolute favorites in Germany. Uh, I mean, the FC Köln. And they have switched supplier. They went from Ulsport, who produced this wonderful jersey, uh, to Hummel. Now, in principle, this is a move that I would always uh, well welcome because I think Hummel is one of the best uh, suppliers out there. And I gotta say, what they produced for Köln is actually very close. I always said this is probably the best uh, Köln jersey that I will ever get. Um, uh, this runs it close second. I always like when Köln comes in a Monaco look. They had this under. Arima, I think as well. Here maybe the red is a tad too prominent. You know, uh, Erste FC Köln uh, has more or less a white base with some red accents. Here the red goes all over and what is a little bit bothersome is that it's only on the front. The back is purely white. That bugs me because uh, it makes the jersey look a little bit odd. However, positives, yes, we have the Monaco look, uh, a bit, uh, going a little bit far down, but uh, there's also, you know, uh, it's not a cut off, it, uh, there's a little bit playfulness on the transition from the red to the white, which I really, really enjoy. I also like the white sleeves. I think current look red with white sleeves is always a good look. Also, there is a little bit, you know, it's a two-tone red, red, so it's kind of a gradient. It's a really nice jersey. It's a really nice, nice, nice jersey. I just think that um, a little bit less of the red. 
then it I could defend that the back is also white. Uh, like they said, you cut it below the Homo logo and going down and then the Raven needs to be outlined pro probably. I think that would make a whole lot more sense than going all the way, the way, way down with which gives it this uh, weird look. But other than that, I really like this shirt um, and I'm gonna go eight stars here. The away jersey for Köln is a purely red number, which uh, at first glance doesn't uh, seem to make a whole lot of sense given how much red there is in the home jersey. However, you know, it is fully red and it's something that Köln always should, should have. It's a typical uh, Hummel jersey, uh, you know, plain Hummel, Hummel jersey, although I don't remember that many plain Hummel jerseys. Yeah, they are. They are, but it's not. Uh, but I actually like as the shadow stripes, so it elevates it a little bit class. But I, I cannot go more than a, a, a six because it's just a little bit too average for uh, my liking. The third jersey makes not only it's as it's the third color that is needed uh, because everything was red white. So we have kind of the dark blue, which I really uh, enjoy. Also, there's a flash pattern in there, while not particularly connected to the club itself. I think this looks pretty, pretty nice. The only downside is the box around the sponsor, which is not needed. You really do not need to have the box around the sponsor because you have the flash, if the flash is there anyway, and you have white on dark. So that is one thing that I got to deduct points for. But again, I think it's also a nice jersey. Um, I think Overhome is doing a really good job there. I'm gonna give this another eight star. Moving on to another favorite of mine, which is of course Stuttgart and their home jersey uh, by Jaco takes the concept of putting the city on the jersey to the next level. Um, at first glance, this is just your regular Stuttgart jersey, white with the red chest band. Uh, I really love how the Mercedes star is a little bit protruding uh, from the band, which is so reminiscent of the early 90s when they had the Südmilch sponsor, which was never well placed, but it always had the Südmilch logo a little bit above the, uh, the, the, the chest band, uh, which gave it a really nice look. So I like that uh, connection there. I like that the jersey is really very plain. And I absolutely love that the city's landmarks are all over in a fine print. Uh, this It is so 90s, but there's something about it that I absolutely love and adore. Uh, you know, you have the Stuttgart Castle, you have uh, the, uh, downtown and, and so on. And I've been to Stuttgart, most of it has unfortunately been historic tourism during the war. But there are quite a few nice places in there that totally warrant to be on this list. Now, uh, I have a pretty nice Stuttgart home jersey, which you have seen in, uh, in the reviews and, and some um, from the 96-97 uh, season. So I don't have the necessary need to get another one, but this one enters my list of, of jerseys that I really would like to have. Uh, absolutely, 100%. I'm gonna give this uh, 10 star because classic design with a little bit added on. Uh, and this, I think is the first 10 star that I'm dishing out. And we're not going lower. We're not going lower for the away jersey. Uh, this is my favorite jersey of this season. And uh, when I saw this, I said, I need to get the original, which is here. So uh, this is a retro jersey, but done in the best possible way. Uh, if you look at this original and the one that is shown here, you see uh, just one slight detail. The white chest band is too bar uh, is on the original is two bar two red and black bars lower so on this one they elevated it and of course you have the little uh stark protruding but this was also the case here with the um, uh, sponsor here so um working overall uh well i actually think uh elevating the white uh jazz band to uh, go a little bit up makes it more consistent with the home jersey um and also gives it a little bit more modern look what i really uh, was stunned by is that the color is a one-to-one -one from the Adidas color. They have the Adidas strapping on there, which I thought, you know, you saw the Hertha way, which is where the nine Nike is not to Yako, we go for the Adidas strapping. Yes, we have the Yako uh, shoulders uh, there, but this jersey is just awesome. I absolutely love the red and, and the black and a little bit white added, which actually, actually I think, me being a Milan fan, I 
not necessarily as a hoop jer uh, jersey, but I, I thought this could be some, something nice. Uh, make a Milan jersey where you have a white uh, vertical band with a cross to kind of mimic the crest. But that's beside the point. I do love this jersey. This is one of the best jerseys out there. And yeah, it's another 10 star. Stuttgart is having one of the, one of the, if not the best uh, uh, kit set this season of any club because the third jersey, uh, while just being black, has the same landmarks on there as the home jer uh, jersey, but just goes for, for, for a black um, look. Um, and it might well be that this is the one that I will choose if I go because that's the color I don't have. But you know, I have I have to see. It is not as good as the other two, though. I have to also clearly say that. And can I mention just that Mercedes uh, Benz is a from Stuttgart, so it's also a, long, a local sponsor. So this is the Mercedes Benz Bank. Um, I want to go here only eight because it's not. I find it not as great as the other two. And then we'll add this, end this video uh, with the only Umbro team, which is Werder Bremen. And there will be so much to like about Werder Bremen. Uh, we have Umbro, which is great. We have the sponsor that fits so perfectly, much better than the Wiesenhof sponsor. Well, what the bleep were Umbro thinking with this design? Um, I'm now aware that Bremen, for me, Bremen in the program nice always had white jerseys, so in that sense I can get kind of worried, but as of late they've mostly been playing with green jerseys. However, this taking the shape from the crest and putting it all over in all kinds of weird ways, I have to say uh, it didn't, it, it doesn't do it for me, honestly. Uh, I don't, I don't necessarily like this. Uh, and it looks very inconsistent also. I think it has also a green back, which makes even less sense overall. Um, not a big fan of that one. Absolutely not. Uh, I do like the colors. I think the sponsor actually elevates this one. It's just a two star. It's just a little bit too well for my taste. I was so looking forward to getting a nice premium jersey because I really would like to have one. And the away jersey doesn't do <laughs> much better i've seen we have seen this a whole lot already this season uh this peach color well yes something different and actually the sponsor again uh quite nice on it although does it need the white backing really i do like the template i just find the colors completely off and then also the dark the olive green going with it uh, it also does not look right to me for that reason, I'm sorry, Bremen. I really would have loved to like your your jersey. I was so going looking forward uh, to getting a nice Bremen jersey. Probably the best one was from the Pizarro testimonial, but you know, sold out in no time. It's also only two star, and here it's mostly the color that uh, just doesn't do it. They have a third jersey where I have hang all my hopes on, uh, but it has not been released yet. I only know it will be uh, kind of in, in a seaweed um, green bluish tone. Any case, uh, lots of teams have very interesting jerseys in there with lots to say. Uh, this is probably the classic lineup. Uh, there are all the teams in here are Bundesliga giants in their own right, and I hope that all of them will stay in the Bundesliga. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which jerseys in here did you like and where you agree and disagree with my rating. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will see you very soon for part three. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!